Hi, I'm Lori with No Shoes Just Travel. In this video, I'm going to share with you the highlights of the Rio de Mar in Costa Mujeres, Mexico. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe below. Okay, let's get started. The RIU Dunamar, located north of Cancun, is approximately an hour from the Cancun airport. We arrived at the resort around noon and were given a wristband at registration that allowed us to eat and drink at the restaurants and bars and use the pools and beaches. Even though our room is not usually ready until 3 p.m., we always grab lunch by the beach and start our vacation immediately. The butlers will stow your luggage while you begin to soak up the scenery and the sun. The rooms at the Rio Dunamar are relatively new, spacious, and clean. While we were at lunch, we received an email telling us our room was ready, so we were lucky enough to check in at 1.30 rather than 3. The decor is a crisp white with splashes of electric blue for that seaside vibe. Our bed was comfortable as was the sofa. All in all, we were delighted with the room and thought we had everything we needed. We heard about resorts in Cancun that have full bottles of liquor and dispensers on the wall of your room, but this is the first time we've experienced this. We didn't use them, but we used the coffee maker on the counter below. In addition to the coffee maker, there are coffee mugs, an ice bucket, and glasses. Beneath the refrigerator is stocked with water, beer, and pop. We do not spend much time in the room, but it's nice to have a comfortable space when you need a break from the sun or you experience an occasional rainy day. I like to hang out and read or edit my photos or videos during this downtime. The bathroom has a side-by-side -side sink, which we found convenient, a hair dryer, and lots of thirsty white towels. A large walk-in shower served up plenty of hot water in the morning and in the evening. One note is that there's obscure glass that separates the shower from the bedroom, which limits privacy. The balcony was one of our favorite features in the room because it looked out into the lagoon and gave us a partial view of the Caribbean Sea. Great for early morning coffee or resting in the afternoons with a cold drink. Very relaxing. The beach at the Rio de Mar is beautiful. The water is a perfect shade of turquoise and the sand is fine and soft, but not the type you sink into when you walk along the beach. If you're a fan of sand and surf, you will love it here. The waves can be a little rough, but as you can see, guests enjoyed wading, swimming, and building sandcastles. A couple of days while we were there, the wind was strong and water sports were limited. But other days, people were parasailing, which seemed to be more popular here, more than any other resort in which we have stayed. We also noticed several people windsurfing at the upper end of the beach. There's usually a strong breeze at this resort and on the beach. The water was perfect for jet skiing, kayaking, and sailing catamarans, too. We saw one person struggle to sail their catamaran, so he had to be rescued by the staff because he was getting too close to the dock and couldn't control his direction. But most of the boats sailed practically effortlessly on the blue water, propelled by endless wind. We enjoyed watching groups riding the banana boat, towed by a jet ski, and take an adventure-filled ride around the sea. You can hear them shrieking with joy as they make twists and turns in the warm, wavy water while holding on tightly in an effort to avoid cutting the ride short and ending up in the water. There are two adult pools, each with a swim-up bar. The tequila bar was the first pool we tried because we were looking for a quiet place to read after a day of travel. It started out quiet, then at 10 a.m. they opened the bar and began playing music that didn't lend itself to reading, 
Next to it is the activity pool, where the entertainment team runs a day of various activities. This includes daily exercise, games, and anything else the entertainment team can do to make sure you're enjoying yourself. The Mesco pool is another adult-only pool with a swim-up bar, and it has a regular bar to the back side of it, with tons of seating, both at the bar and at separate tables where you can look out into the sea. We spent plenty of time here, especially in the afternoons and at lunchtime where we ate our food from the pool barbecue that featured burgers, hot dogs, fries, and nachos. Accompanied by a cool drink, we soaked up that fabulous view of the beach and the palm tree swaying in the wind. The next pool felt a little quieter, even though there were a lot of families with kids. This pool is where we first laid our eyes on the bartenders with traveling bar carts. The bartenders made their way around the pool, serving up everything you could think of, including frozen pina coladas, margaritas, and a host of other fun drinks. Here is one of our favorite bartenders, Freddie, making a mojito. Freddie, how do you make a mojito? Four, four pieces, nine, uh, nine, nine lips, nine lips for the men, uh, sugar, one, one spoon for sugar, and you can match it. Two, two ounces for brown rum and soda and ice. Awesome! <laughs> Thank you, Freddy. If you want a pool with more adventure, try the water slides. Next to it is a splash zone for the little ones. Connected by a walkway from the Dunamar is the Ryu Palace. If you're staying at the Dunamar, you do not have access to the pools, food, and drink here, but we took a walk to get a feel for the difference between the sister resorts. While it's not adults only, there were fewer kids here. It had a quiet, relaxed vibe that we liked. It feels more spacious, and there's more room between the pools, so you're not hearing music from one pool bleed into the sound of the music from the next. Hard to explain, but it was more peaceful. The Denimar felt more hectic and busy to me. I felt my shoulders drop and my body relax when I was walking around the palace grounds. If you stay at the palace, you can use the facilities at the Denimar. And you get to experience a continuation of the same beautiful beach that I showed you before. You'll have your own lounger and beach bar service. In fact, I felt like there were more opportunities to gaze on the beach from the pool area at the palace. Book a swim out room at the palace if you want to spoil yourself. Here, you will not only have your own pool in which to relax, but you will also have a front row seat of that fabulous beach. We thoroughly enjoyed our meal at the steakhouse. We started with a fresh Caesar salad then dug into the mixed grill for two. It was delicious! The buffet is available for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and there are four a la carte restaurants to choose from. Coco Bongo visit us one day to enhance the foam pool party experience. The bartenders made special drinks for the occasion, and servers rushed to get them to their thirsty guests. It was a high energy performance for sure. Our favorite show was the white party, which was Friday at 7 p.m. The entertainers were outstanding. A vocalist sang every upbeat, crowd-pleasing dance song while being accompanied by a musician playing the electric violin. A Congo line was started that seemed to go on for miles. Everyone, and I mean everyone, was moving and grooving to the music. It was a fun and memorable evening. This 
was high energy entertainment at its best. Don't miss it. like about the Rio Dunamar? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and share if you want to see more videos like this. See you next time.